Okay, so this is not actually in our freezer and this is not actually in our pantry. And so I'm not sure, I mean, it's not in our fridge or our pantry, so I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it, but I'm gonna show you what's on our, uh, what's on our counter and in our kitchen in general, like spices. And I'm not gonna go through all the spices. I'll just show you a little preview. Okay, so this is our smoothie Shakeology whatever cabinet. And so we've got Shakeology there and our chocolate Shakeology here. And that's L-glutamine in the back that I use sometimes per suggestion of the nutritionist. And here is Digestive Boost for our Shakeology. And my husband has in here his uh, Recover. He drinks this after he goes on really long, long runs. And then Hydrate. He wanted to try out the Hydrate, so he got a little box of that. So that is in there. And then if you come down here, where we've got lots of dishes drying, we have bananas, which we've got a whole bunch more. I just haven't unloaded them from the grocery store yet. And some tomatoes and some plums that don't have a bite out of them and some nectarines. Here, just our spices. We've got ginger. I mean, you can see those are our spices. And I just got up here, garam masala to try. Island wants us to start making some more Indian food. I don't even know if I spelled that right, but um, I got it from the bulk bins. But uh, I think that seems to be pretty important. So I got that. And we've got various other spices that we use more of over here. Um, so we buy them in larger quantities. So that is our kitchen stuff. And now I'll show you the pantry. Okay, so this is a pretty well stocked pantry and I'm not gonna go in complete detail with all of it, but up there I have some of my herbs and some cereal and this is just all paper goods. And that is all like jars and bottles and witch hazel and Epsom salt and ingredients for my creams and lotions and whatever else is all up there. And then this is all herbs and um, I actually need to go through and clean these out. Some of them I haven't really used. Like I used a lot at the beginning but I'm not using them continually and others of them I use all the time like this one and I need to order more at Linden Leaf and Flower. So, but that is currently my apothecary, apothecary, there, apothecary, that's how you say it. Okay, and so on this shelf we have like extra herbs and honey and, ooh, do I have another thing of, I did not know I had more garlic and like jams and like more syrup and molasses and apple cider vinegar and this has like our vanilla and um, this is like toasted sesame oil and all of those kinds of things and then we keep our onions there and our garlic hanging out right there and then this shelf has most of our canned goods we have our canned mushrooms and our tomato paste and sauce and all of that and um, diced tomatoes and green beans and pumpkin leftover from the pumpkin season and pineapple peaches and olives and these are um, Shakeology packets for sending out to people for groups and stuff so I keep those back there and then we have I get I got these on sale and in bulk for $2.50 a bag which is really really good for pasta so I stocked up and we have our nuts and seeds back here got various nuts and the nuts the boys can't have but Arlen and I enjoy them and then we have all kinds of seeds and some popcorn and some sprouting seeds and chia seeds and all sorts of stuff back there and then on this shelf we keep our canned beans back there and right now I think we have black beans and chickpeas and kidney beans and then quinoa and then these are all of our dry beans and grains so like we have red lentils and green lentils and black beans and split peas and white beans and rice and 15 bean soup mix and ooh, that needs to go in there so I need to do some cleaning up in here but this is kind of rice and beans and grains and stuff and then this is kind of our baking stuff so I have this I only use for making cakes for birthdays and that too and these are kind of our ingredients mostly for making bread and then I've got some chocolate chips here and some sugar and that's pretty much there that's the only sweets that we have in the house usually I mean I guess we have those popsicles but generally like this is it and that helps us to cut back on it and then here we have some more popcorn and some coconut oil and this is glycerin that I use to make glycerites and soaps and things like that and 
um, canola oil and what's this one? This one I think is um, just regular olive oil for like cooking and extra virgin olive oil. And this is what I will make with the paychecks on Sabbath, so I get that for him. And some pickles and our oats and an empty box. Oh look, and more peaches and applesauce and pineapples and we have a milk and I need to get the rest. We keep a lot of extra food in the, oh look, there's some more chocolate chip too. Keep a lot of extra food in the garage like that we buy in bulk and so I need to get out another case of milk. And then we have kitty food and birdie food and just paper towels and washing soda and Ziploc bags and that. And that's pretty much it. So now you have seen all the secrets inside my kitchen. There's not really any secrets, but that's what our fridge and pantry looks like when they're pretty well stocked. I mean, I, they're never 100% stocked because I kind of stack when we go shopping, but that's pretty much what's in there. That's most mostly, I don't think we're missing any staples. That's what we use, that's what we eat, that's what we use to make all our food from. So that's what we do. And as you can see, there's not really much junk. And sometimes it's frustrating because sometimes I really want junk and there's no junk. But the good thing is, is that there's no junk. So even when I really want junk, I don't eat junk. Instead, I eat things like sugar snap peas. So yeah, but that's pretty much it. That's the, that's the kitchen. That's what it looks like. That's what we eat from. And that's our vegan, uh, soy free, gluten free, nut free, other than Arlena and I eat some nuts, so those are there, but um, allergy free kitchen pantry refrigerator thing. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> Let me know if you guys have any questions and I'll talk to you later. Bye.